Hi everyone and welcome to Medical Specialty Billing and Technology. Today in the video, we're going to talk to you a little bit about some of the options with version 22 of Metasoft. Some of the options are pretty much the same as the older Metasoft versions, but there's a couple of things that I wanted to reiterate. So in this first video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about your program options. When logging into Metasoft and you go to file, then down to program options, it takes a few seconds, but then a screen will come up and it'll have several tabs. On the first tab, the general tab, it will tell you how to back up your Metasoft. Make sure you have this box checked to say, remind me every time the program exits to back up. Over here in your right, it says the maximum automatic backup count. So if whatever depends on whatever number you put there will determine how many times it would actually automatically back up your Metasoft. Many people forget to do this, and as a result, their Metasoft is never backed up. And if something goes wrong with their system, they don't have a backup of their Metasoft. Pay close attention to the program name, because when looking for the backup, you want to know what to look for on your system. So look for the mbackup.exe. Okay, down here in the screen where it says show windows on startup. This allows you to, when you first open your Metasoft, do you want it to show the patient list or the transaction entry? So for this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like if you click patient list and I'll close it and open it and you'll see how it comes up. The menu toolbar options. This is good when you scroll over the picture icons, it will say the name of what it is. If you forget what the picture icons mean, if you don't have it checked, um, it will hide the icons and it'll just have the words such as file, edit, activities, list, and so on. It won't show the pictures at all. So I'll check it just to kind of show you what it will look like. Then to the right, you have choices that says show hints, show shortcuts, enforce, accept assignment, print report, and so on. Some of the important ones to have is you should have the hints box checked. Um, shortcuts is like if you're used to using like your F keys, if you scroll over any of the icons, it'll show you like, oh, you also can do F1 if you go or F2. Um, it just gives you a shortcut. The enforce accept assignment. Uh, many claims have gotten rejected because this box is not marked on the claims. If you check this box, it will automatically default to accept assignment, which means that the doctor will get paid for the actual treatment. Print report title page. You don't have to have that, but say you're printing an aging report. It'll say 90 day aging report. If you don't have it checked, it, it won't say anything. It'll just give you a report. Hide inactive and close items. You need to be careful about that box. You only want that box checked if you do not want to view the closed items like accounts that were closed or accounts that have been made inactive, maybe duplicate accounts. Um, if you do want those still to be visible, then you want to uncheck that box. Use guarantor ledger for quick ledger. So if, for example, if you have a lot of children that come to your office, um, when you're looking at looking up their balances, you have to look up under the guarantor names, which is typically their parents, and it'll show the balance for the entire family. If you have it unchecked, you literally have to look up under that child, and it'll show a balance for that child, but it may not combine with the parents' balance as well. The enable HL7 triggers. This should only be checked if you have a electronic medical record hooked in with your Metasoft. Because what this allows it to do is to transfer information from Metasoft to your electronic health record and for your electronic health record to transfer it back to Metasoft so that they work in um, cohesive together. Calculate patient and state patient and statement remainder balances. Um, this is basically saying, do I want it when you open your Metasoft? It's a way where to show that before you do anything, it'll calculate the balances. Before you close your Metasoft, it'll recalculate the balances. Um, if you don't want it to go either way, you can also click none of the above. I'm going to cl uh, click when the Metasoft first opens, just so you can see what I'm referring to. And then this last box over here is account alert setting. So this allows you, if you check this box, you can put in an amount of, you want an alert to pop up if a patient owes a certain amount of money. So if I do, um, if a patient owes $10, so any patients that owe $10 as a balance, then it will show me as an alert when I open their account. 
Um, if a patient is delinquent on their payment plan, if your office does payment plans, most offices don't, but it'll give you like a red alert. If you sent that patient to collections, um, any outstanding co-payments, um, medical billing issues, or all of the above. So this allows you just as a reminder because throughout, of a day, throughout a day, you may see several patients that come into your front desk and you may not remember right off the top or have time to look up every balances. But when you look up their name, it will show you as an alert what their balances are if they're delinquent. So with this first tab, general, I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to log out of Metasoft and show you what it looks like. So now I'm going to go up here and exit. And then I'm going to go back into the Metasoft so that I can show you what it looks like. See how it says recalculating balances because we check that. Also, we ask for the patient list to come up first and you notice that the patient list is here first. So this is just an example of of the settings from the general tab for program options, what you can change. The next video will go into the next tab of program options. <music>